Welcome to our first video tutorial. This first one we'll do is a dynamic hybrid clothing tutorial. The reason we've chosen this one as the first one is because the, the dynamic hybrid clothing is usually the easiest to use in the cl cloth room. So we've started off with Stephanie 3 loaded and we're going to use the side split evening dress. So let's set Steph up first by removing inverse kinetics. So make sure you have any body part selected and remove the inverse kinetics from both legs. And then open the joint editor and zero the figure. Okay, that's her set up at frame one. So if you don't have this window open already, open it, make sure she's at frame one and add a keyframe. You probably don't need to add these keyframes but it's belt and braces for me just in case she moves when we don't want her to. Then take her to frame 15 and add a keyframe again. Now go to your, whichever pose you want or pose her manually if that, manually if that's the way you want to do it. I'm going to use a Victoria 3 pose that I've saved earlier. There it is. And that's how we want her to look while she's wearing the dress. Now just so the dress looks right on her, go back to frame 1, just click all the way back and add the dress. And conform it to Vicky, uh, to Stephanie, sorry. Getting my women mixed up. Okay, now we have the dress conformed and ready. The next step is to enter the cloth room. Now just to save a little bit of time in the cloth room, make sure you have the dress selected. The hip of the dress selected, sorry. Yeah, I'm having a bit of trouble finding it. There it is. And enter the cloth room. Now we need to start a new simulation, obviously. Um, just leave everything as standard and click OK. And then click Clothify. Now we already have the hip selected because we chose it before we entered the cloth room, but if not, you need the hip of the dress selected. Click Clothify. Now we need to decide which part of Stephanie it's going to collide against. So let's click that button and then add remove. Now we we'll really need to, uh, to to collide against the hip. The abdomen will choose just to be on the safe side. And then slide down to the legs. Click the right buttock, the right thigh, the right shin and we'll add the right foot to be on the safe side. Same with the left side. Now it's okay to add maybe an extra group either side just to be on the safe side but just never select body because you just give poser far too much to calculate and it will take forever. Click OK, click OK again and that's basically it. Now all you need to do is click on calculate simulation. If this takes too long I'll hit the pause button and we'll come back to it at a later date on the frames. Um, just a little bit of chat while while that's working. Um, if you want to know which type of clothes you can use as um, a dynamic hybrid set, basically if the skirt portion of the dress has morphs built in, you know, like left, right, leg up, leg down, things like that, then it's pretty much definite that you'll be able to use that as a dynamic hybrid conforming set. Um, the basic rule is that the hip portion of the dress needs to be in one piece. Um, i.e. if it's got buttocks or thighs in, built in, you know, mo actually modelled in, it probably won't work. Um, but if it's just one solid hip, even if it's got body handles or morphs or anything like that, it will work as a dynamic conforming hybrid. As you can see, this one's chuntering away quite happily. We'll stop it at about, I would leave it normally to run to frame 30 because the dress will start to settle and everything, but frame 15 will be enough to show us what... Um, kind of results we're getting. A couple of frames to go. And we'll stop now. Now to get a better look, that's but that's basically it. The job's done now. We'll just click into the post section, swivel around for a better look. And I tell you what, let's just go to a non textured view just to see how nicely the dresses dresses float around her. Now all you have to do is put a bit of texture on Stephanie, uh, add some hair and a pair of shoes and she's good for a good night out. Thank you very much.